So here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 in the Beluga Reflective colorway. Can you tell any differences between these two? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another comparison video for you and spring two pairs of the Yeezy Beluga Reflective. So on my right here we have the retail pair that I purchased directly from the Adidas Confirmed app and here is the fake one on the left and this video will just be showing you the details on what to look for if you're trying to purchase the retail pair. But before we get into the video I'd like to give a big shout out to today's sponsor. Legitmark is a standard for sneaker authentication and is the safest and most reliable app to get your sneakers authenticated. They even have this pair on the platform. So if you got a pair just like this, I wanna make sure they are authentic. There's a link in the description for you to check them out. So we're gonna take a look at the boxes first. And the first thing to note is the retail box is a slightly lighter cardboard and also the box is slightly larger than the fake one. These are both the same size. So these details should be exactly the same. So just to take a note, the fake box is slightly smaller than the retail one. In terms of the 350 on the top, they're pretty much the exact same size. There's no real difference between the two. And at first glance, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference, but the lighter tone in the brown cardboard below is quite noticeably different. Spinning the box around to the side and taking a look at the box label, you can see that they actually are very different. So the fake one's gone for the standard US label, whereas the retail one was purchased in the UK and obviously has the UK label on the side. However, if you look at the color code, you can see on the retail one, it pr practically shortens down Beluga Reflective and Steel Gray and Solar Red. Whereas on the fake one, you can see it says Reef Gray, Mine Black and Perimeter Red. So the color code is pretty much completely wrong. It also says BB1826, whereas the retail one is GW1229. So you can see a lot of differences between the two on the label. So do take a closer look at this if you are trying to authenticate your pair. But like I say in pretty much every video, no one really wants me to talk about the boxes for the entire video. So we'll open them up, look at the shoes and show you the differences there. So we'll open up the fake one first. So fake ones, paper does not come wrapped over the top. The shoes are completely on display as soon as you open the box. Whereas if you open the retail one, the paper comes wrapped around the shoe, completely covered. This is normally a telltale sign when you just get a dead stock pair. The paper normally wraps around the shoe straight away. That's just how they package it. Whereas on the fake one, they never seem to really do this. So as I unbox this, it must be taken into note that the fake one does come with paper. It's just lying flat on the bottom of the box. They just haven't bothered to wrap it around the shoes. And it does actually come with StockX labels, stickers, and the actual tag itself. So just be careful if you actually have purchased a pair and it comes with StockX branding, that does not always mean it is authentic. So do get that checked. So here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 in the Beluga Reflective colorway. Can you tell any differences between these two? So this was actually the first ever Yeezy 350 V2 to release, but it didn't release in a reflective colorway. So they've actually brought it back, which I actually really do like. And they've added a little twist to it, which actually just gives it a really nice touch. I did actually get two pairs of these when they first released. It was my first ever Yeezy 350 V2. Managed to get two pairs off the size app and just managed to get the first come first serve. Was really happy with that purchase and I wore them into the ground and then decided to sell them. And I'm really glad they have re-released this pair because ugh, this colorway is really, really nice. I'm a big, big fan of it. So the first difference between the two pairs is actually quite obvious. And if you take a look at the sole, and I'll give you a close up of this as well, you can see the sole color is completely different between the two pairs. On the retail one, it's a gray sole, which pretty much matches the upper and isn't very see-through. And you can't really see the boost through it as clearly as you can on the fake. On the fake one, you can see the color of the sole, much lighter gray, pretty much a tanned colorway as well. And the boost is coming through very clearly and it's a quite obvious difference between the retail and the fake one. I'm not too sure why they've got the sole color so wrong as these have been out for quite a while in the non-reflective version and the sole is pretty much exactly the same. Spinning the shoe upside down, taking a closer look at the boost, we can see differences here as well. If you look closely at the retail and the fake one, you can see the fake one is much more texturized than the retail one. In terms of the feel, however, they feel pretty good. The sponginess of the boost is almost exactly the same. I would say the retail one is less responsive than the fake one. The fake one bounces back much quicker, which just doesn't give it that comforting boost-like feel. Looking down from the shoe from above, we can see differences here directly on the laces themselves. So if you look at the retail laces, you can see that the mid square section of them is a light gray, whereas the outer edges of the square are that dark gray. 
If you look at the fake one, you can see they've got this the opposite way around. On the inner side of the square of the laces, you can see it's that dark gray. And on the outer side, you can see it has the light gray. So there is a difference there. If we also look towards the toe box area, you can see the stripe on the retail one and the fake one differs from side to side. So on the retail one, you can see the orange stripe comes towards the toe box area, but there's a large gap between that and the end of the toe. Whereas on the fake one, you can see the stripe goes pretty much all the way to the toe. So the position of the stripe is very different from the retail to fake pair. So just take close look at this when you're trying to authenticate your pair. Now if we take a look at the heel area of the shoe and you'll see the three Adidas stripes on the inner side of the heel. If I show you a close up of these you can see differences here. On the retail one you can see once again it is that grey like material which is almost a bit of a grip towards your heel to stop it slipping out the shoe. It has a little bit of a rubberized texture whereas if you look at the fake one there's no rubberized texture at all. They've practically just drawn the lines on top of the sock liner itself and also it is a green like color. So there's a clear difference between the retail and fake here. And that is very obvious even if you don't have them side by side. Looking towards the back of the shoe, you can see that the retail one has this almost heel bump shape on the back, which is very noticeably different to that of the fake one, which doesn't have this. This is a very obvious shape on the back of a Yeezy 350 V2. And if you see this, very likely that your pair is a retail pair because fakes don't really seem to get this shape correct. If I show you directly from above again, you see this middle stitching going all the way down the shoe. If I give you a close up of this, you can actually see that this middle stitching is actually a different color from retail to fake. It's a much lighter gray on the fake one compared to the retail one, but this is just another telltale sign between the two pairs and what to look for if you are trying to purchase the retail one. God, this is such a nice shoe. I actually really like this and I'm so glad I've got it back. Now, if we take out the paper from inside, we will see the retail one has a much larger paper stuffing than the fake one. The fake one looks like it's just used some normal paper scrumpled up, whereas this one has a more cardboard like texture to it and it's also much bigger. Now, if we take out the insole from both, and I'll show you them side by side. We can see color differences between the two. On the retail one, you can see it is a much lighter gray than that of the fake one. And also, if you look at the three stripes on the Adidas logo, you can see that it's a much lighter gray that matches the insole compared to the fake one, which has three stripes, which are a much darker gray. So do look out for these tiny details if you are authenticating, because if you have a fake pair that's very close, these are the things you're gonna have to look for. The next thing I'm gonna show you is if you take a look at the side of the shoe and take a look at the Supply 350 text on the stripe. And if you look at the size and consistency, you can see differences here between the retail and fake, where the font text size is very different between the retail and the fake. If I take a look at the right shoe now, you'll see that they do actually come with labels attached to the right laces. And the fake one comes with this one label attached here. This is because this is based on the US label, whereas this is based on the UK label. However, there is a difference to note is that Yeezys nowadays come with this rope lacing because I think they're trying to cut down their plastic consumption to so the sustainability. So they do come with this rope straw like attachment, whereas this fake pair has gone with the old plastic attachment. So just look out for these little details because for a retail pair, they should come with the straw attachment now just because Adidas is cutting down on its plastic consumption. So as you can see from this video, there are actually quite a few differences between these two pairs. However, if you purchased a pair and are struggling to tell if yours are real or fake, you can check out Legit Mart. There's a link in the description for you to check them out and get your pair authenticated. I hope this video has helped you if you are struggling to tell the difference between a retail and fake. Please subscribe, like the video, it does really help the channel grow and helps me do videos just like this. But thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.